This is KPRC oh. 2 News. Plus, having your car stolen is never a pleasant experience. Meet the couple who did their own sleuthing to get their back, and they documented the whole thing on TikTok. A story that you'll see only on 2. A couple took matters into their own hands to find their Dodge Challenger Hellcat after that car was stolen, and they documented their efforts on TikTok. Our Keith Garvin is live in Northeast Houston now where the couple found their car. Keith? That's right, Chris. It was found here in the small parking lot at this small strip center here in Fifth Ward. The couple was led here by an app on their phone. Oh, oh there's a huge dent in me. That sinking feeling of mixed emotions when you locate your prized car that was stolen and has been missing for nearly a month. That's what David Cohen and his wife experienced when they located his Dodge Challenger Hellcat they believe was stolen from Hobby Airport. Parked within like the first six parking spots right there by the elevator. Cohen left on a business trip last month and parked his car in the blue lot at Hobby. He was expecting to be gone for only a week, but the trip was extended to a month. When he returned last Friday and walked into the garage, his car was nowhere to be found. But they had no record of my car ever being there. Cohen eventually filed a report with HPD and contacted his vehicle security and navigation service, Uconnect, which at first disabled his ability to locate the car for security reasons. But on Monday, Cohen decided to randomly check his Uconnect app, and bam, it showed him exactly where his car was located at this small strip center at the 3400 block of Liberty Road in Fifth Ward. He and his wife drove to the location, and there it was. There it is. I was stunned. <laughs> uh, and I really didn't expect it to be in as good a shape as it still was. In good shape with just a scratch and small dent, whoever had the car had removed the registration tag, the toll tag, and the car's license plate. Anything that could possibly link it, they stripped off and then replaced it with a temporary dealer tag that was actually registered to that car. And back here live, HPD is investigating, but the Cohen's say they have not been updated after leading officers to the stolen car. They have security concerns because the garage door opener was inside the car when it was stolen, and they believe when you connect the theft at the airport to a temporary tag that was connected to a nearby and local car dealership, they believe this is part of a larger theft ring. Reporting live from Fifth Ward, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Keith. Well. Family right dollar. By the ice thing. There it is. <gasps> There's your car. <gasps> it's scratched. <sighs> oh, oh, there's a huge Walk dent in around it. And go take a picture of everything.